Hello and welcome to this how-to video on Budget Express. Today's topic, the settings in Budget Express. The settings in Budget Express, the settings are the profile, the categories, and the subcategory. In all those cases, you already saw them because when you created your first budget, you had access to it uh, directly from the wizard. Well, you had access to the, the profile first, so you created your profile. But what you can do afterwards and directly in the profile, you can, first of all, you can change the language if you need to. You can change the currency if you're in the U.S., for example. Why changes? Or you can go directly into your budget list and do some uh, correction, modification. So you can create also new budget in this uh, from the screen. I will show you that in a couple of seconds. But let's let's see what we can do directly in the budget list. If I click on my budget, like budget 2018, I can change the name, the description, I c and I cannot change the start date because all the, the information entered from the beginning is, is related to this date, so it's very important. And I can enter a new password or change my password if I really protected my uh, specific budget. I can create a copy of this budget. The copy is for budget 2018. And I can restore, if I had a problem with my uh, system or my budget, uh, the uh, this uh, budget. But I have a video regarding this. There's a specific video regarding this topic, so I won't go too far into, uh, into it right now. But you can also change budget into the screen. If you have multiple budget, when you want to, uh, to work in, a, in another budget, you can change the active budget to a new one. So you see the check mark changed so now i'm in my family budget so i can go into my calendar do my operation from this particular budget let's go back to the uh, budget 2018 and i said that we can create new budget from the screen it's the big red button at the bottom you can add a new budget or copy a budget the difference between the two is very important when i do add a budget i will do it right now I go, I'm going back to the wizard, so it's a new budget from the beginning, so from scratch. So if you need to create a new budget for any uh, new information, so you can do this directly from the screen. Or if you want to copy a budget, the system will ask you if you need to copy the budget from which, which, from which budget you want to copy the budget, budget 2018 or family budget, and you get it a new name and and uh, the starting date for this particular budget. When you copy a budget, you will copy all the information, all, so all the operation uh, reconciled or not from this particular date. Those, this will be a topic also uh, later in a new uh, video on how to do a copy of, uh, from a budget, but just know that it's done from the profile page. So now let's go to the categories. Oh, I forgot, uh, the profile page is also available from this top, uh, the top right corner. So you don't have to go into the settings user profile. You can just click on this uh, little fellow and click on profile. This is the same, exact same page. The categories, you uh, probably notice that the categories in the system are already created from Budget, Budget Express, but you can modify or personalize your own categories. What? The categories are used to regroup uh, subcategories in a particular, let's say, family, uh, so that you can uh, uh, see them uh, more closely in the operation menu, but mostly in the analysis. This is where I think the the uses uh, the use of the categories are pretty important. So uh, you saw that all the uh, the uh, categories are uh, ca categorized by type of operation, so income, expense, account, etc. From from each of these uh, type of operation, you can create new uh, expense, uh, new categories. Sorry, let's go to the expense. I will show you. I will create a new uh, new category just to show you how it is, how it works uh, when I will uh, work into the uh, subcategory. So how it's uh, regroup into a, a couple of subcategory. Let's say that I will add a uh, category called trip to Tokyo because I want to um, categorize my all um, my, my expenses from my trip to Tokyo. So the housing, the uh, the travel, the uh, the uh, food, etc. And I want to have a specific category that will 
regroup all this uh, information so that it will be easier to analyze uh, afterwards. So I will add a new icon. So I'll just save. So you see that's very easy to create a new uh, category, but you can also modify categories in here or uh, you can also delete, but this be careful when you delete a category because you need first to uh, undone the, uh, the the regroupment with the subcategory. So it's a uh, pretty uh, it's a task that needs to be uh, you have to be careful when you want to to do this. Uh, let's say I want to modify a, a, a one categories in here just to show you that when what it will do when I correct a category. Let's say a leisure. I want to call it leisure in sports. I, I'm going to save. If I already add subcategories used uh, with this uh, category leisure, it will be automatically changed to uh, to this uh, new name. I'm going to use the subcategory. So you so now it's called leisure in sport. It was called leisure before. So that's all done automatically in the to the system. And one important thing that you need to know is when I change a category, or it's the same thing for the subcategory. It changes for every single budget into your uh, system. So this is not just for a particular budget, but it's for all the budget in the uh, in the system. So when you do a modification or you add a new. Uh, uh, categories or subcategory it will be added to all your budget so now let's go to the subcategory let's see what we can do in here so uh, as in the categories it's all regroup uh, under a new uh, under a specific type of operation so you see my new category that i just created trip to tokyo is right here and my leisure and sports oops sorry Leisure and sports, well, it's right here. Uh, it's changed, the name was changed, so it's changed all the way, uh, uh, also with, uh, into the uh, subcategory. So let's first create a couple of new uh, categories that I can add into my trip to Tokyo. Let's call them housing. I like to add uh, a uh, particular icon for this. We'll do this pretty, uh, pretty fast. Say, let's add another one. Uh, food. I'm gonna go fast with this one. I like to pour, pour some wine. Save. And I will use this uh, trip to Tokyo to show you something else we can do into uh, the subcategory menu. Let's say I got a transportation menu. I got transportation in here. I don't. I'm not using it at all. I just want to uh, use it for my trip to Tokyo in this particular case. So I will show you how to uh, replace it into a new category. This three little button at the end of the uh, the subcategory transportation, and it, uh, this these buttons are available on each subcategory. When I click on it, I can add a transaction for transportation, or I can change category. So if I click on change category, it will ask me which category I want to to use. And again, I said I want to use a trip to Tokyo, so I will select trip to Tokyo. So now meaning the transportation subcategory is not part of the transportation category but it's instead it's now into my uh, trip to tokyo category so this is how you can modify uh, every uh, single uh, you can change i said uh, the uh, subcategory from one category to another let's say that i want to change the insurance car insurance i would like them to to go into transportation let's say uh, well i can change it right like that and home insurance i want them into housing so when i do that it's done if i already use them into an operation that uh, that's okay because it will be changed automatically so you don't need, need to do anything about this it will be uh, added to this new uh, new category by itself so another thing that i want to show you to to finish uh, the uh, this video on the settings menu is a way to use the description from the, the, the subcategory. Let's say I got a couple of car and I want to uh, I want to be sure that when I enter my car payment that time I will enter the, the model of this particular car. So to be able to know to, to know exactly which model I'm using, so I just enter model into this the car payment uh, into my description for this particular subcategory. And every single time I will add a new 
uh, operation to this car payment, this descri description will be added automatically. So I will do this directly from this menu. You saw that I can create a new operation, so a new transaction directly from this menu. So I will do that. So I got my car payment, I got my model, so under uh, on the Civic, my car payment, uh, $250 a month, uh, and that's the end of the month. So if I knew, I do an, a new one, a new, uh, enter a new description, it's still always there, so my Ford Mustang, I wish I had one. So this one is a little bit more expensive, let's say it's five dollars. 540 and it's from the beginning of the year so now if I go into my operation menu and go to my expenses you'll see that for my car payment in here you you see the, the, the description that I used and it's easier to uh, identify which which one is which so uh, that's the one thing you can you, you can use the description uh, to, uh, to identify or differentiate the, the specific subcategory into when you use more than uh, one time the same subcategory. So that's it for the settings menu. If you got any questions or uh, uh, commentary on uh, this particular subject, please send me a, a, an email to support at budget-express.com. Thank you for your time.